Here we talk about organizational culture and building a culture of leadership. That is how you lead in a way that creates an environment where everyone is, is ready to lead when they need to lead. That is, everyone is ready to move the organization forward according to its strategic objectives when indeed that they are called to do that, when they see the need. They have the skills, they understand what needs to happen, and they're able to move forward. Maybe not everyone, but people in positions where, uh, where that context is needed, where someone needs to step up and make that process work. So let's talk about when leadership happens and what needs to occur. This talks about corrective action. It's really supportive, reinforcing action. When you see the organization perhaps is developing an unhealthy culture, or perhaps the organization is structured in the wrong way. You have a, a functional organization that's not quite working. Or perhaps you need some capabilities, some new capabilities for some new initiative. There has to be a process of taking that organization and making the right moves, these leadership activities, leadership practices, such that the, re, the organization becomes repositioned to go after the strategic opportunities or deal with the strategic risks that one has identified in the analysis. To do that, the process is followed. What we followed, described at different points in this, uh, in this discussion in this class, is a thorough analysis of the strategic situation, of the situation generally, strategic operationally or whatever. And then judgment that is based upon success and failure and understanding what's going on in the marketplace to decide on actions that need to be taken frame those actions, and then implement the corrective action or the change, the new initiative in some manner or form going forward, taking those actions forward. That's what needs to happen. But it's not one way all the time. It's to serve different functions. This is what will describe these five different areas where you need to understand how you move an organization forward. This is some of the work that I've personally been involved with over the last several years with many people, many colleagues, including Mary Albin. Organizations need to be able to make sure they gather the information they need about what's happening. We've been practicing that in some of our class exercises, gathering and doing the analysis about what sorts of situation needs to happen, needs to be developed. But then there's also figuring out how to make use of that organization. How do you put a structure together? Do you make a partnership? Do you reorganize from a functional to a operational group? Do you form a separate joint venture or a certain separate entity? How do you restructure your organization? How do you use what you know about the strategic opportunity also to maybe make, um, to use that information in order to create a new initiative or partner with a new entity or a different entity where you can move forward and learn more about the opportunity that you're identifying. Those are the informational aspects of understanding the analysis of the situation. Not just gathering the data, but figuring out how one uses it, what's relevant and what's not, and how one moves forward in a number of ways. Then you say, OK, how do I go about learning more? That's this generative notion where you say to yourself, we need to try something out. We don't know enough about this particular project. Let's launch a product. Go out there in the marketplace quickly, get positive feedback or negative feedback, make the changes you need, and create new possible opportunities going forward. You also need to have administrative processes where people get paid. They, get their, they, get, they understand what their objectives are. They get their performance reviews, all of these elements of of the administrative process. So when you set up the organization, who reports to whom is all figured out, who does all that administrative process is dealt with. The information, when you structure it, you do that administration as well. But at the same time, you're trying things out. And the last part is making sure that this culture is built, this community building, where people understand and they know what they're trying to accomplish. They are excited about coming to work, and they build upon that. Routines and policies and capabilities and all that sort of thing is in place. But in addition, people feel like they can try things out and test new ideas and 
cross boundaries and interface with other groups and other parts of the organization. These are the different, the five different things that organizational that people need to be doing, leaders need to do when they're dealing with an organization. Find out the situation, gather information, use that information in some way, structure the organization through this administrative process, and build community. But all the time with this generative idea, trying new ideas and new things so that you, the organization uh, has the latest idea and is learning about what works and what doesn't work and can use that information in this repeat cycle again so it feeds back into the organization. These are the kind of uh, leadership practices that are necessary in order to implement and develop a permanent or a strategy for the organization. And that's, um, that's pretty much the sum of the problem of business policy and strategy. Not only doing the analysis with all of the toolkits, but understanding the complexity of working in a large scale organization to not only know what to do, know how to structure initiatives, but also get them done, implement them, and then learn from that process, learn from that doing process, how you can improve the next time through. Not only improve the product and service, but also improve the organization so that its culture continues to be one of success and, and one that has leadership as a core element of what it's trying to accomplish. So that, that, that wraps up this discussion of, uh, it wraps up actually all of the discussions about business policy and strategy, but in particular this one about execution. Execution involves getting the capabilities that are necessary in the organization, hiring the right people, putting the right processes in place. It also involves building the right kind of culture. And of course, using all these tools, continually influencing what people's sense of their culture is and what information they have, how they use the information, how they administer it, and how they feel like they're part of something important so that when some change comes up, they, they embrace the change and move forward because they want to survive it, it to survive into the future. Uh, we'll wrap it up there. Um, hope this was a useful discussion, and um, uh, we'll see you next time.